Uh, thank you everyone for joining. Um, as always, these meetings are recorded. Um, it's uh, just so others who are not here can can see. Uh, I, I anticipate it's going to be a short meeting and then we'll probably do a lot of this discussion via email, but I just wanted to to get together on this topic to kind of just talk about um, the topic of the date of the event again, um, because uh, we probably need to decide this uh, in the next week or so. Um, everybody knows everyone. Here's kind of the to do's and where we are. Um, so we're, we're in a pretty good, pretty good spot. Um, big thing is the date of the event. Um, I got emails back from Kara, which I had sent to the list. Um, the, uh, the, the two days are the Monday, which is bef the day before ELCE open IOT when there's nothing else going on. Um, and the Thursday, October 13th, uh, which is the normal last day of ELC open IOT. They have their normal 50 minute breakout sessions, keynotes, their end game, everything they normally do. Um, we can, we can do it either way, uh, that we can have people who are not at ELCE also come to either of them. That isn't an issue. It costs a little more if we do it on, on the Monday, but it's like $4,000. It's, I mean, given our budget, it's not a requirement either way. I don't think it's going to, you know, going to break the bank. Um, that's kind of the, the general kind of what I know about this, um, I, I looked, we, we asked about the Friday as well, which would be the day after there are no, uh, spots open there. There, I, I, I don't, I don't think actually Linux foundation is doing anything related to that. Um, but, uh, the, the hotel does not have any open, open rooms that day. So that's kind of the, the summary. I mean, what, what are people's thoughts here? My gut feeling is the Thursday, but um, I guess there's a few questions before deciding that for myself. Um, okay. I mean, I don't know much about you know what's involved. If anybody's been to Open IoT or ELC, you know, as a conference on its own before, but other things like this that I've been to, you tend to have a sort of set up day, don't you, for the people who are, have stands, and then generally, if you're just attending. You don't necessarily go on that day. Now I realize we'll have separate attendees, but it would be good to get a bit of overflow if that could happen from ELCE. Open IT. That, yeah, I, I I tend to think you know when I think about uh, participation, um, we definitely probably could get some people who would who would attend if it's during the rest of the event. When they see that mm -hmm. there's a co-located event and it's happening on the last day, they might come to some of the sessions, you know. And uh, the other thing I had thought about, and I don't know if this would fly, but if we could, uh, did I send an email to Felix already? I because he's in yeah. Berlin, was asking, you know, like, mm -hmm. is there a hacker space, a dojo, a coder dojo, a maker space? some place that we could meet uh, on Friday, sort of more informally, just more of a social and networking and hash out, you know, issues face to face. Um, I think that would be that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I think that could be useful to do that then on Friday. The, uh, if we, you know, although it, we could still do one mm -hmm. of these social days if we did the thing on Monday, but it, then it would have to be on Sunday or something, you know, the day before. Okay. No. Mm -hmm. I think that will be, uh, that will get more difficult. I think if people are on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Weekend. Yeah. Yeah. I think, yeah. It, yeah. you know, even if people came in for just the social coordination day on Friday, even if they can't get up, can't come to the rest of the conference, that still might work um, to get. My my big concern on Thursday is that people are are not going to stay, that they're they're just going to go, 
and the Lunger is going to go to ELC or something. Like it, we're not going to get a, a a large turnout for just Open WRT people uh, or people interested in Open WRT. Um, maybe so I'm you wrong. think so? Because because last year maybe. my impression was that the people who came for the ELCE and the Open WRT Summit that because we also I was there for the Qualcomm if there was booth and so I had booth duty. A lot of people hung around um, you know, I not left the booth maybe once or twice on the day before or something, but it wasn't like there was there were nonstop sessions that I wanted to go to. There were two or three sprinkled in the day that I went yeah. to, but otherwise uh That's true. Yeah, you're not going to be going to all of the breakouts, all of the keynotes. You're probably going to be interested in one or two or three, and then mm -hmm. wandering around, wondering what to do for the rest of the time. <laughs> that's yeah. true. That's fair. Okay. And if we're going on during the keynotes, that wouldn't bother me either. I could, I mean, there, some of them are interesting, but um, enough of them are not that interesting that I wouldn't mind skipping them. It's fair. Okay. Yep, yep. Okay. Um, any other is thoughts it, on this? Yeah, I'm interested in anybody who thinks Monday is better. Because <laughs> if nobody does, then I think we have our answer, don't we? I mean, I, I, I am... I actually think Monday would be slightly better, but I also oh, understand because <laughs> I'm the I'm the one I but I, I think if everybody else thinks that Thursday's better, it would be a good idea to go with Thursday. Um, maybe it's my my own anxiety. I don't want to compete with anyone for for attendees. But um, going back going back to last year again, how how is that different? Was that you mentioned Kathy that was on that we was were, sort of com gone. Oh, we were um we they did not have normal ELCE stuff. They had only co located events that day. Uh, so it, it was like there there weren't any keynotes, there was no breakout sessions. It was like you went to um they had a they had a set of co located events that were all related um in like some a way. KVM or uh, I don't remember yeah. what the other ones were, but but they were just focused on particular projects that were just project organized. There weren't like breakout sessions and keynotes and all that stuff. All right. Okay. And if I actually thought, Monday, well, go ahead. Uh, if we would do it on Monday, you think you would still attract people from LG? <laughs> all right. You, you might. Um, I mean, that that is the idea. You can still attract people as long as they, but you, but you don't attract people that don't pay attention to it being co-located. Whereas on Thursday, people that didn't know the Open Diversity Summit was happening, they might see some talks and they might come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct. Yes. Good. Uh, hello, can, can you hear me? Here is Beda from Prague. Yes. yes. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I tried to tell something before, but uh, the microphone that didn't work. So I would be slightly in favor of Monday because mm -hmm. on, on Thursday, or, or the last time, the last Open WRT Summit was great, in my opinion, that the people that came in the morning stayed till the afternoon. There, there, was, there was almost no, no mixing with, with, the other, uh, with the other events that were going on. And I think if we do it on Thursday, we might have a lot of people who will come during the sessions or, or in, during the breaks and so on. And it might be much more, yeah, it, it wouldn't be so focused. Uh, because there will be a lot of people going in and out and so on. So if we have independent, like independent presentations, it might not be so much of a problem. But if we try to discuss something for a longer time or focus on one topic, then it might be a problem to have such a mixing of people. I 
I actually think that the discussions would draw more people, but I don't know, you know, we'll have maybe a couple different open-ended discussion sessions mixed in with other talks. Uh, I, I do see, I do hear what you're saying though. Like if I had talk A and talk B and there's a talk outside of the Open WT Summit that looks interesting, I might go listen to it instead of, because there was nothing, <laughs> last year there was nothing else to, or nothing else related yes. to go and, to. And mm -hmm. Could you get that sort of, that sort of commitment for the whole day for something on the Friday, potentially? I mean, the other thing I'm thinking is that uh, if we are looking to get people sort of coming over from ELC, open, open IoT, um, are they likely to have already booked their flights and not be there on Monday? You know, I, I don't know myself. I'm quite, I plan quite early, so I tend to have had things booked already. At this point, I don't think there's a big issue. Um, I think people tend to be pretty, uh, pretty uh, procrast procrastinators. So I think don't think that's a big issue. Um, but it, it, as long as we, uh, you know, get the information out there as soon as possible. Um, but but the, the other drawbacks. Thing, oh, go ahead. Oh, the big thing is is um, if they're getting their tickets. Either way, the co-located event is going to be at, on there as an like option to register for. So if they register for open, um, if they're registering for ELCE and it says, "Oh, well, the Monday before there's there's the um, the open WRT summit," then they may be like, "Oh, okay, then I will, um, yeah, I'll just know that when I book my flight, I've registered for it. I I know when to when to do it." So I have a question though on the, so the Open WT Summit is going to have a no fee registration, right? There's no cost registration. But mm -hmm. if, if we did it on Monday, people come, they don't have to pay. But if they wanted to stay and linger and meet other people on Tuesday, they'd have to pay for ELCE, correct? Yes. If they, if they want to come to ELCE. Whereas on Thursday... They're getting in the door free, right? If they just sign up for the Open WT Summit, so yes. they wouldn't actually. I don't be, even know. How, so they no. wouldn't. They would get a different badge. They, I mean, maybe someone wouldn't notice, but technically, they wouldn't, unless they paid for ELCE. They wouldn't be able to attend the ELCE sessions if they've only registered for Open WT Summit. That is correct, I think. Yes. But if you're there That's for a good both, point. obviously you can you can go to both. That makes sense. So some I, subset of the people that are coming just for the Open WT Summit aren't going to be able to go to that other stuff. That's true. That is true. It's a very good point. And depending on where you're coming from, presumably you'd want to take a Sunday evening flight to get there for Monday, right? Also, maybe, I don't know what flight costs would be uh, when I go out to India, which is completely different. Um, if you you go out for a Monday, it's much more expensive than, say, going out for a Thursday. But I don't know about mm. Germany. Well, from here, I have to fly Saturday, arrive Sunday, and then I'd be ready for Monday. <laughs> yeah, All right. pretty much. Okay, I, that's a really good point, Kathy. That that kind of makes me feel more comfortable about Thursday when I when you bring. Yeah, you're gonna have you're gonna have a certain number of people who have not registered for ELCE, so they're just gonna be, you know, attending. And would we we'd get the same room all day, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. We would get the same room all day. So you might lose some people that want to go off and see another talk, but I don't think the attrition would be a huge deal. Okay. That makes me more comfortable about Thursday. All right. Is there any more discussion on this? And maybe we can... I would... Do we feel comfortable saying, like, recommending Thursday and just bring it to the list and have a vote? Yeah, for me, yeah, indeed, yeah. 
Thursday seems uh, fair. I, th I also think you will have a, indeed a, a core group of people there on uh, Thursday who will stay. Mm -hmm. the, oh yeah. Like the, the reason Cathy mentioned, so I'm pretty indeed confident with Thursday. Okay. Beta, how do you feel? Mm, yeah, I have no problem with it. I still I have still feeling that that um, it might be disrupting when other people come in during the sessions and so on because the probably the time schedules wouldn't be aligned with with the with the other other stuff going elsewhere and it might be disrupting but on the other hand it's uh, yeah it's it's not so much of a problem and yeah I, I agree that maybe there wouldn't be so many people willing to come on Monday. It may be, yeah, to come extra for the OpenWRT uh, summit. So yeah, maybe Thursday is better. Why not? Okay. All right. Um, I'll bring this to the list then, and we can, we can talk about, just discuss it. If there's anything we need to uh, see what, see what people feel. But I, I think this this makes sense. All right, I think that's everything about the date of the event. Um, the the after the date of the event is set, we we need to start looking at um, the like call for proposals. Um, I don't know if there's much we want to talk about that now, but just wanted to have that on people's radar that that is something we're going to need to uh, need to work on. So. All right. Any other thoughts right now in this meeting, or what do you call it a call it a meeting? Not for me. Maybe for maybe me. I will ask the same question as last time. Is there any news about the lead uh, versus OpenWRT split? Um, other than what I've seen on the what list, I... which is, there seems to be arguing, but that's kind of about the current state, I think. I don't mm -hmm. know. I think there's Maybe just... more in, in relation to the, to the summit. Is there, um, are there any indications oh. that the lead people will boycott it or that they will come or do we know something? I, I think they would come. I, I don't see I any, I don't see any hard feelings between... Uh, yeah, I think they they've all voiced opinions that they want to work together, but you know they just have to ne negotiate on the rules and the process. You know, there's been a it it came apart, which maybe is okay, just to force them to figure out what is the process for going back for getting back together. I mean, it was just it became too successful, and uh, and they didn't have a structure for. You know, mm. sort of a democratic meritocratic, meritocracy development, and so some people were wielding a little yeah. more power. And I don't know. I mean, I don't know the details, but I think this is good. It just forces them to get more structured. Yeah, I would. I would tend to agree that a project of that of that size and the fact that the um, there wasn't a ton of structure, it kind of was something that unfortunately was bound to happen at some point, but I would hope that it gets worked out sooner rather than later. Because last fall we were saying at the Open Number T Summit, we're saying you guys need a foundation. So that Everybody you, said that, yeah. A technical yeah. steering committee and a little more structure and governance and, but yeah. you know that, and that, I still think they need something like that that would help bring it back together. So, but we, I'm not going to do the work for them. <laughs> no. I mean, if guys. there's anything they want help from, we're happy. Yeah. I think any of us are happy to help. So. Okay. From, from my point of view, it's great that uh, we are confident that they will come to the summit. This is the most important thing that we should care about uh, on this committee. So, it's great news for me. I think that, yeah, I think they will. But I mean, obviously, anything we can do to encourage them and bridge that gap is, is always valuable. So.
yeah, I, I don't want there to be two code bases by next October. That would be bad if they hadn't fixed that yet. I would tend to agree, yes. Okay. All right. Anything else? No. No. Awesome. Right. Um, I, uh, I well, guess we will, uh, we um, should plan on meeting again next week, I think. Um, we may do tentatively. I don't know if we're going to need to. I guess we'll see where we are. But yeah. sounds good. We'll tentatively meet again next week at the same time. All right. Okay. Well, yep. works for me. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone, for joining. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.